Try to stay with the breath. Don't let your attention go leaking out your ears or out your thoughts of past or the future. Try to keep it right here. You're trying to get, create a gathering place for all your goodness. So you can carry the goodness of the mind with you wherever you go. So that when unexpected events come up or unpleasant events come up, you've got a lot of goodness inside that you can overcome the mind's tendency to get upset by those things. In other words, you're carrying your strength around with you. The strength of your generosity, the strength of your virtue, your concentration, your discernment. You want these things with you all the time. And so this ability to keep your mind from leaking out in directions that are not going to be helpful, that's an important skill. This is why we focus so much attention on being mindful and alert, remembering to stay with the breath, being alert to stay to see what's going on. And then if you notice you're not staying with the breath, then you come right back. That's the quality of ardency. This way we seal up all the leaks in our heart, all the leaks in our mind. We can compare it with a, to a pocket. You have some money, you want to keep your money with you, or you have to have a pocket that doesn't have a hole in it. Otherwise you put the money in, and even though it's real money, genuine money, it goes slipping out the hole, then you don't have any when you need it. So in order to have a good state of mind with you, you want to be able to develop this skill that if you notice the mind is going in any direction that's not going to be helpful, you cut it off. That way you seal up the mind. So your goodness is always there with you, and then when you need it, you can bring it out. So learn how to be really focused on just the breath. Other things will come through your awareness, but you don't have to grab onto them. Just hold on to the breath, as in that image of the raft going across the river. Everybody focuses on the fact that when you get to the other side of the river on the bank, you can let the raft go. But the important thing is that you have to hold on to the raft while you're crossing over. And you have to, as the Buddha says, kick with your feet. That's the effort you put into the practice to get the raft over. It's not going to float over to the other side on its own. You have to push it. So make sure your raft is in good shape. Make sure that your pocket doesn't have any holes. Make sure your mind isn't leaking out your eyes. This way the goodness you need will be there when you need it, because all the goodness you've been creating gathers here together in the mind, and it doesn't, doesn't go leaking out. <laughs>